Hi, my name is Laurie Way. I'm the manager of the Writing Center at the University of Victoria. When I started this job six years ago, I thought I knew everything that I could know to run a writing center. After all, I had taught writing in first year composition classrooms. I had tutored writing. I had even been in a position of managing some staff. I was really surprised at all the things that I didn't know, and I found that most of the things that I didn't know came in the field of HR. I think a lot of people arrive in management wondering, how did I get here? Uh, and it's usually because you were really good at the job you were doing before, whether that was teaching writing or tutoring writing. And you might wonder why you should care about HR. And HR is really helpful because it provides a set of good practices that can make your writing center run more smoothly, and we all want that. Uh, it can increase staff retention and staff happiness. You can avoid claims of poor employment practices. And you can ensure that your writing center is running as efficiently as it can. After all, running a writing center is kind of like running a business. Good staff and a high quality product are key to your success. Sound HR practices can help you achieve that. There are seven areas of knowledge and action according to the Canadian Council of Human Resources Association. One, professional practice. 2. Organizational Effectiveness 3. Staffing 4. Employee and Labor Relations 5. Total Compensation 6. Organizational Learning, Training and Development and 7. Occupational Health, Safety and Wellness The following slides here focus on the most relevant information from the CCHRA document. The main tips I have are to maintain effective working relationships between staff, students and the campus as a whole. Be sure to evaluate your program's effectiveness and ensure that you are staffing people according to human rights legislation, union documents, and so on. Some advice? If you aren't comfortable with conflict, get some training because when you're in management, you actually have to be in control of the conflict that's happening, whether it's between students and your tutors or whether it's between the tutors themselves or you and the tutors. There's lots of training available out there to make you feel more confident and a little bit happier about dealing with conflict. Also, think of your writing center as a business. Maintain accurate records, be aware of the budget, develop a strategic plan, and consistently monitor your results. The main tips here are to ensure that your writing center is efficient. Study what you're doing, how you're doing, and how you might be able to be doing it better. Study what changes need to be made and figure out how to handle that change process. Promote a productive culture that values diversity, trust, and respect and provide performance feedback, coaching, and career development. It can be really hard as a manager, if you're not used to it, to provide performance feedback in a way that isn't all positive. You want to give people information so that they can do a better job, and you want to help them provide goals for themselves. Some advice? Learn how to coach others so you can provide motivating, helpful feedback. Also, research your writing center. What are you doing well? What are you doing a little less well? And how can things be done more efficiently? I would also say, if you can publish this information, that's even better. Assess your hiring methods. Are you getting the right people? And if so, how do you know that? Are you sure that your hiring methods are attracting a diverse pool of applicants? Also, discern when outsourcing services makes sense. Of course, nobody can do it better than we can, but sometimes it makes sense to take parts of the Writing Center practice and find another way of doing it. Also, when you're the boss, you need to be in control of staff discipline and the termination process. If you're not feeling comfortable with conflict and you haven't learned how to coach people, Problems with your staff can easily spiral out of control and you can end up with a really toxic workplace. Be on top of the staff discipline, especially if you're in a unionized environment, there should be some guidelines about how to do this. And be aware of what the termination process should look like. You want the person who you're terminating, as well as those watching that person being terminated, to think of it as a fair, transparent process. Learn what your institution requires of you when disciplining an employee. Provide corrective feedback to a staff member in a timely, thoughtful manner. Now, you might think that you have very little to do in this regard, and to some extent that's true. Most universities are unionized and our staff are therefore unionized. However, make sure that you provide advice and counseling to staff regarding their employment rights and responsibilities. Just handing them the union booklet isn't enough. Create a file in response to a known or suspected incident of misconduct. Keep a paper trail so that if there is an investigation, you're well prepared. A piece of advice? 
it can be difficult for new staff to understand how their contract and union documents apply to them. Take the time to explain the most relevant parts to them. 5. Total Compensation Now you might be laughing as I say that because you may have no control over how you compensate your staff. But remember, compensation doesn't always refer to money. For most writing centers, compensating their staff well is beyond their budgets and employment agreements. However, you can increase what staff get from their work by, for example, creating a professional development path, tailoring training sessions based on their interests, providing access to professional development sessions on campus, encouraging them to take on research projects, and supporting their efforts to publish in journals and on websites related to Reading Center work. What skills can you help them gain for their next job that will also be helpful in this job? Decide on the most effective training initiatives for the success of your staff in your Reading Center. Base your training plans on what your staff currently needs and foresee what they will need later. And of course, measure the training you provide how can you know if your training is effective unless you can measure it? Advice? Training is not just for the new. Provide ongoing regular training to all your staff. For most of us, our universities have an office which deals with occupational health and safety, but there are things that you as a boss need to be aware of. 1. Provide information to your staff about the programs on campus that address health, safety and wellness. 2. Create an injury and accident log to ensure you have a paper trail if there is an investigation. 3. Know your responsibilities to a staff member when she or he returns to work, needs workplace accommodation, and so on. My advice? Ensuring the health, safety, and wellness of your staff while they are working for you is your responsibility. Perform an audit to see how well your writing center is doing in protecting its staff. Maybe you started in writing center work for the writing and the students. However, once you're the boss of the writing center, you have additional responsibilities. Budgets, measurements, evaluations, staff coaching, including those really tricky and difficult conversations, the development of training and professional development opportunities, and an awareness of best and next practices, not only in tutoring, but in writing center management. I fully believe that by taking these HR concepts and applying them to your writing center practice, you will end up with staff who are able to do their jobs better, are happier in their jobs, and are producing a high quality product on a regular basis. Besides, you'll have the data and measurements that you might be asked to produce in order to justify your writing center's budget. While it may seem like more work at the beginning, all of this is really good news. By applying these concepts, you'll find your writing center is much easier to run.